Hello and welcome to today's math class. Today we have this challenge before us here. The question is 7 to the power of x equal to minus 7. So what is the value of x that will satisfy this challenge here now? Now if you look carefully, you discover that the quantity on the right hand side is carrying a negative sign. So supposing there's no negative sign, then we're just putting one up here. Then since the basis are the same, that we equate the exponent that will give us one. But here we are having a negative side on this uh, right hand side. In other words, so what number of what number can we put in place of x here that will actually equal to our, our minus seven here? And if you look at this carefully, you discover that there is no real solution to this challenge here. There is no real solution to this challenge. But we're going to have some infinite solutions to this, and they are all going to be complex numbers. Okay, so all the solutions we're going to solve for here, they are going to be complex numbers. So how do we get this complex solution to this challenge here? It's the aim of this challenge. So let's take our solution here. All right. Now, the first thing we're going to do here is that whenever you have a question or a problem of this kind, you just have to rewrite the right-hand side of this equation. Minus 7 can be separated or can be written as minus 1 times 7, which is positive 7. So this is going to give us our 7 to the power of x is equal to our minus 1 the times 7. So minus 1 times 7, that will give us minus 7. All right. Now, because we are looking at the imaginary world, you know, the world, complex numbers from the system, so we record that our minus 1 is equal to what? So we say, it's a bird. Let's put here bird. Our minus 1 is equal to our e raised to the power of pi. This is pi. Iota bracket our 2n plus 1. Close bracket. So from here, we know that e is a constant. And here, we have pi is also a constant. i here is an iota, OK? Uh, a, a symbol in uh, mathematics, OK? Then we have our 2, a constant there, n here. Uh, belongs to a set of uh, integer, so n is, a, is an integer. So we we say we n is a set of what integer, right? So if n is a set of integer, so we're going to have infinite root from this place here. Okay, all right. So since we have minus one is equal to uh, this expression, and we have minus one here, so we can bring in this expression in place of minus one. So this is going to give us 7 to the power of x is equal to our e all raised to the power of our pi times iota bracket our 2n plus 1 plus bracket that times our 7, which is this existing 7 here. All right, so with this we have here, mind you, this is to the power of 1. We have a base number that is 7 here, and here we have 7 as a base number 2, multiply this. And so we want to carry this 7 to this side, so how do we achieve that? We divide through by 7. So if we divide the whole of this by 7, we equally divide this side by 7. Okay? So this goes with this one. Now, I told you this is to the power of 1. So we apply the law of our division in indices, which says that if you have your a all raised to the power of m all over a all raised to the power of n. Since the base alphabet are the same, they sub subtract the powers or the exponents. So this is going to give us a raised to the power of m minus n. Okay, so we can apply that here, right? Good. So applying that here, this is going to give us our 7 raised to the power of x minus 1. This is equal to, we are left with our e raised to the power of pi, pi iota bracket, our 2n plus 1 plus bracket. All right, this is good. Look at what we have here now, because the variable we are looking for is at the exponent here. Then what we do here is to log both sides of the equation, right? Good. So if we log both sides of the equation, we're going to get something reasonable. So we're going to take ln base e. Okay, so if we ln both sides of the equation, this is going to give us the ln of our 7, or in bracket, raised to our x minus 1. This is equal to the ln times our e, or raised to 
pi iota bracket 2 n plus 1 close bracket. All right. So look at what we have here. Now we apply another law in logarithm, which is called the power law of logarithm. And it says that if you have the ln of your uh, a all raised to the power of b, this power here, move it back here. So if we do that, it's going to give us b times the ln of our a. Okay? So if we apply that rule, it means we're going to move this as an exponent to this side, and we probably move this to this side. There, we are now left here with ln dot e. So ln dot e will give us 1. Why? Because this is ln base e, right? So this will give us our 1. And so the whole of this expression is going to give us something unique here. So let's look at it from this side. So this is going to give us our x minus 1 plus bracket there times the ln of r7 equal to, like I said, this is going to give us our pi iota bracket, our 2n plus 1 plus bracket. All right. So with what we have here now, look at the quantity we are looking for, still attached to LNB7. So we divide by LNB7. So this is going to give us here, divide both sides by LN, or sorry, LN of 7, not LNB7, please. So this is all about the LN of 7. So what happened? This and this will leave. So we are now left with our x minus 1 is equal to our pi iota bracket 2 n plus 1 plus bracket all over our ln of 7. So we just have to add plus 1 to both sides of the system. So if we do that, we're going to have here x minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 plus our pi iota bracket 2 n plus 1 plus bracket all over our ln of 7. So this, this list, because we have minus 1, plus 1, we give us 0, right? So here we are now left with, therefore, our x will now be equal to our 1 plus pi iota bracket 2 n plus 1 close bracket all over the ln of 7. Now remember I said where n is an integer. So it's a set of integers. So we can vary n here to get infinite solution to this, um, uh, the infinite root to this uh, challenge here, all right? So this is the value of our x that will satisfy this uh, exponential equation. And if you check here, we are going to get all the root here in uh, a complex form, okay? They are going to be in complex form. All right, so this brings us to the end of today's class. Thank you. See you in our next class. Bye for now.